hello everyone today now we'll see the atcl program for wireless communication so here is the scenario so first let us see the scenario scenario goes like this for a wireless network consisting of three mobile nodes say n not to the n2 whereas the nodes are configured with the specific parameters of a wireless node initial location of the node is fixed nodes are given mobility with the fixed speed and fixed destination location tcp agent is attached to node 0 and tcp sync is attached sync agent is attached to the node 1 both the agents are connected and ftp application is attached to the tcp agent for that we need to write a, a tcl script and make an ad hoc simulation to analyze the output in the trace file use the routing protocol as AODE which is ad hoc on demand distance vector so for this now let us divide the complete question into the different parts as first part let me consider that first let us divide into the wireless node which is a three which should have nodes which are three nodes second part let me divide as configuration part so let me divide this again let then i will have to look into this initial so i will put this here for our understandability see there are three nodes whereas location is fixed then again nodes are given the mobility speed that is also fixed so let me put here as a fourth so then again tcp agent is attached both the agents are connected now so likewise let me divide this complete question okay one more thing here i should make use of AODV routing protocol yes see like this i let me divide this complete question into the six seven parts first part is i should have three mobile nodes so for that so there are three mobile nodes here but very importantly they are not they are the mobile nodes we should never connect by using any physical links so no means of any usage of simplex or duplex links now let us go to the second part which is initial location of the node is fixed so you so we have to fix the initial position based on the topograph whatever will be using topograph is nothing as your platform where you are placing your mobile nodes so based on the position which you placed so just fix the position of those mobile nodes initially which is the constant then we'll be providing the mobility to those nodes and where they have to stop moving so which is the final destination that also let us fix so then we'll be configuring for this part of so let us see these three first so these are the three these, these are the three things so which is first three are first is uh, having three nodes then fixing the position and fixing the destination with the mobility so let us see the where exactly we have these three parts in our program so here is the program so in our program first part first part is having having three nodes so this is where you can see the number of nodes is set as three nodes so the number of nodes which are set as three nodes and those nodes which are initialized you can see here this is the place where we initialize uh, you created those three nodes so start from i is equal to zero to the n which is nm which is number of nodes whereas the value of that nm is declared as three here so you 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 start from i is equal to zero till number of nodes and keep incrementing i and keep creating the new nodes so this is where you create the three nodes as of your question and the second part of the question if you see there where we need to fix the position of those three nodes so see you can see here we need to fix the position of the initial location of the nodes is to be fixed then mobility is to be given with the final destination so for that so let us fix the initial location and this is what the initial location which is fixed so this every node will have the three coordinates x y and the z coordinate and this the first node is made to fix, made to be present at the initially it is made to be present at the phi x axis phi and z axis is zero and uh, node 2 is 490 285 this is this is the this is based on the user requirement so we just place three nodes as a initial position 
whereas this x and the y which is fixed in the topography here the x coordinate and the y coordinate values are fixed as 500 and 500 so on that you place three nodes with the initial position initial position of all the three nodes so x y z coordinates for each node then third part of the question it is we need to provide the mobility so that for that providing the mobility so this is where we'll be providing the mobility and also in the question it is specified that there should be a fixed destination so that is the reason the mobility is given based on so mobility will happen right here so at when the mobility has to start so here it is given that node 0 has to start moving at 10th second node 1 has to start movement at 15th second node 2 has to start at, at 19 second this is a variable so whereas when they started movement when they started movement where exactly they have to stop which is the final destination that is given by here x y z coordinates for each this is the x coordinate y coordinate and the z coordinate x coordinate of second node y coordinate of second node and z coordinate of third node so 480 300 and 5 which is the x y z coordinates for the final location where the second node which is node 2 as a part of third node should be stopped so these are the three first these are these are the this is for first three points setting three nodes creating three nodes setting the initial location and setting the uh, providing the movement and also final destination where they have to stop so these are the three constraints are solved next let us see the next next is nodes are to be configured with specific parameters of wireless node this is very very important we need to configure every node at the time of installation so in a general mean we say the installation let us see so what are those configuration parameters where we need to see so that is what so, so these are all the different configuration parameters which we need to set so not here so from here these are all the configuration parameters we need to set for each mobile node so let us see what are those parameters see first and foremost thing which is the channel the channel is the one which uh, which differentiates whether the node is acting as the wired node or the wireless node the node may be connected to the either to the wired network or wireless network but whether it, the communication is happening as a wireless communication or wired communication is based on the channel so the channel is made as a wireless channel so set the channel to be a wireless channel so we are defining the channel variable this is a variable as the wireless channel then propagation see the propagation at the time of wireless communication we also should uh, if 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 it would have a uh, wired communication in the sense then the uh, one way and two way communication we would have said based on the simplex or the duplex links as here there is no explicit link utilization or physical link utilization so the propagation which is the movement of the data in what direction we should have said so here we want the propagation of the movement or the switching of the data in the both the directions so we will be setting as a two ray ground propagation then network network interface so network interface obviously here also we are using the wireless wireless model so where the network interfacing will happen through the physical layer itself so it is network interfacing will happen based on the physical layer and that network interfacing net, that network interfacing will have its own queue so this is what if queue which is network interface queue if queue stands for network interface network inter interface queue and that queue is also set as a it will not be a, even though it is a queue it will not be acting as a first in first out it will be acting as a priority based out so it is pre queue priority based so priority based queue so then we will be, we'll be setting the a queue length queue length is also set which is 50 queue length is set as 50 then mac is defined mac is defined which is on a version of the wireless communication which we are using as we are going to deal with the wi-fi kind of wireless communication so it is 802.11 is the standard so for that it is 802 underscore 11 then we have link layer will be using LLA. then very very importantly every company every every wireless nodes are subject to communication only through the antennas so antennas will which so for suppose you have a you have a three nodes but even though they are given with the they are given they are given the uh, possibility of movement but they can only have a communication they can only have a communication only if only if if they are in the range so if the nodes are in the range 
if they are ranged then they can have a communication even if the nodes are apart even if the nodes are apart even then the communication is required communication can happen in the sense only through the antennas which we call as transceivers so those antennas definition is also very very important so we are defining the antenna for the wireless communication which is omni antenna which acts as a bidirectional but unidirectional at the time so that is what the antenna definition for the uh, wireless network then routing protocol as a as the question itself suggests you will have to make use of routing protocol which is aodv so aodv how exactly it works in the sense as a simple as a for a simple explanation let me put it in a simple way as i said if this is what a source node and this is the destination node in the sense see aodv will be a kind of a source initiated routing protocol it is not table driven routing protocol it is source initiated routing protocol as it is a source initiated routing protocol whenever the communication is required source is the node which has to initiate the routing process by sending the route request packet this route request packet will be sent to all its connected nodes so route request will be sent to the a to b and also a to c in turn b and the c will send to its connected nodes so again they will be keep sending the route request packets to all its connected nodes it will be flooding until the it reaches to the destination so destination will receive too many route request nodes from too many directions so the, based on the too many route request nodes uh, route, route request packets received at the destination based on which destination is going to identify which is the shortest route based on the uh, route request parameters so and based on that it will finalize the uh, shortest path and through that only through that path it is going to send back the route reply the route request is flooding to all the nodes but route reply will be only to the exact path so that route request and route reply will be based on the uh, table contents like so uh, uh, much much of the things happens based on this hop how many hops it has crossed through so here this route request has crossed through, crossed through only two intermediate nodes which is considered as a shortest path so like this the ad hoc ad hoc on demand distance vector protocol will be a, a source initiated routing protocol so only it is a on demand whenever it is required at that time the source will initiate the routing process so in our in our simulation also we have to make use of this aodv so that is the reason we are we are defining the routing protocol as aodv so this is all only a definition part actual initialization this is only the uh, initialization part so actually configuration will happen right here by making use of this node config by using this node config we do uh, configure the parameters whatever it is initialized at the beginning now let us go to the next part of the question so next part of the question is what so we will have to uh, have a have a tcp communication that is what by initializing tcp agent at the node 0 and tcp sync agent at the node 1 so and we'll be applying the ftp application so for that so let us see so this is where yeah this is where you'll be initializing the tcp agent will be initializing the tcp agent and that tcp agent will be attached to the n node which will be acting as a source and whatever the data which is sent from the one will be collected at the node one so it is one will be attached as a sync agent in the same way no tcp agent is created for the node one and sync agent will be created for the node two so both so here we have the two tcp communications from zero to one and one to two whereas for both we will have to initialize the ftp application not the cbr because cbr will be used for udp ftp will be used for the tcp here and it is given as when the simulation has to start so at the 10th second they have to, it has to start the simulation so this is a part of simulation now moving to the last part of the question as such so here you need to analyze the output you need to analyze the output for analyzing the output so you can analyze the output through the graph or through the win uh, trace file so you can analyze the uh, you can analyze it through the graph as well as win trace file so for that see here we are de defining here we are defining for the trace file as well as nam file so here this is the as usual a trace ft trace 
at the ls.er and this is very very important we are declaring it as windows versus time 2 whereas the file name is win.tr and nam file is as usual while as one dot nam and as we want the as we want the nam press for the wireless communication so it is name trans all wireless so within the range of x and y coordinates which are defined here now coming to the plotting the graph so for plotting the graph we are going to make use of this we are going to make use of this part for plotting the graph as such plot window in that plot window what to be plot whatever it is simulated whatever it is simulated in this network simulator the same thing to be plotted and initialize the time difference it is the 0 0.01 and here we are going to make use of the uh, two variable which is the now and the time see now which is the initialized time for your um, for, for our for our simulation whereas this is the actual time which is happened for every transmission so based on which we we find out the final uh, or you, you plot the final graph so this is the plot window function so then later after after everything is done simulation is going to end at this stop whereas this stop see the whether i is initialized to zero till this number of nodes it will be keep performing the same simulation and it will be stopping at this stop moment what does that stop whereas that stop is defined with the value as 150 seconds so at that time moment of time it will stop the communication